Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Slightly Eccentric and the Diplomats of Dope. This is part one of part two of our series of making homemade cannabis-based ice cream. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, it's true. Here's what I want to explain. We pay, I think, 80 or between 80 and 100 bucks a year to get some Amazon Prime thing. We get Prime TV and, and then we get free delivery. We get some package. And because we get some package with Amazon and Amazon owns Prime, we managed to get a free, a, get this, a free ice cream maker for our KitchenAid. Now this free ice cream maker sells at Canadian Tire just down the street for $129. On Amazon, it's $79. But because my wife buys so much stuff on Amazon, you know, it's cheaper to, to buy stuff on Amazon than it is to go to the store now. She accumulates points, so she buys birthday presents with points and stuff. So we got this mixer, this ice cream mixer, for absolutely free. So we made the most delicious vanilla-based soft serve ice cream you have ever had. And fresh ingredients, whipped cream, whole milk, uh, vanilla bean paste, a little bit of sugar, and it was just incredible. It took about 30 minutes to make. And you stick this bowl into the freezer for 24 hours. You bring it out. You, you put your ingredients in. You beat it around for about 30 minutes. So you add the, the um, whatever extras you want in the last 10 minutes. Then you stick it in back into the freezer. And you've got both soft serve if it's right away. Or you stick it back into the freezer in a container. And you can make delicious hard serve ice cream that you can put in a, a cone in another 24 hours when it gets, you know, when it freezes hard. So I'm going to put pictures up as we as we go. So the 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 what we did is this. <clears throat> we got the the bowl and it's got some liquid in it stuff. So you have to put it in the freezer for 24 hours, right? So it gets really really cold. And then you bring it out and you know what? You can make a uh, homemade ice cream, you can make homemade sorbet, you can make homemade frozen yogurt. Oh, my goodness, anything, almost anything you can think of, you can make frozen in this particular ice cream maker. So I'm thinking to myself, you know what I should do? I should get some cannabis flour, decarboxylate it, turn it into powder in my uh, coffee grinder, and then add it to the ice cream, the vanilla ice cream that we've made. And what I'll do is, this is part one, when we make it and we try it with people around us, We'll give you we'll give you the review to see what happens. Now, this is going to be de decarboxylated cannabis. So, now you remember now, cannabis, there's something very unique and individual about cannabis that sets it apart from other pharmaceuticals. Cannabis is not water soluble. You can't just take it with a pill, uh, in a pill form with water. It doesn't work that way. It has to ha have fat in order for it to work correctly. So, when you take cannabis, See if you can take an avocado, because that's a really healthy fat. Or dairy product, like ice cream. Oh my goodness, that's nothing but fat. So the decarboxylated cannabis in the homemade ice cream should really bring that cannabis, the, the, all the terpenes and the power of the cannabis, because we've, you've combined it with the fat of the cream, the whipping cream. That should be a really interesting uh, ice cream. So this is part one, but we will let you know what happens. So. <clears throat> we'll, we'll put it on, so you've got your bowl, and then I've got pictures and videos of us putting the things in, putting the milk in, and then first you start with whipped cream, and then you add your whole milk, and then you add, we have some fantastic, really expensive vanilla bean, we have some really expensive vanilla bean paste that gives it an authenticity. Remember, this is homemade ice cream. There's no preservatives in it. There's no extra sugars in it. You don't have to put any sugar in it at all. You can make a sugar-free ice cream, sorbet, frozen yogurt, whatever you want. But this is gonna be exciting because I wanna teach you, just like my sore muscle rub, or Velma's recipe for sore muscle rub, we created a product, <clears throat> we created a product for, for anyone that wants to use the sore muscle rub, one cannabis product, that will address a lot of pain and a lot of uh, chronic pain. And if you put it on your, your feet and your hands, pain disappears within five minutes with the sore muscle rub. So that's one form of cannabis that I, that I really enjoy helping people with. 
Another form might be this homemade cannabis ice cream. You never know. If I was talking to one of my neighbors, <laughs> Velma, the other day, because I would make homemade um, soy muscle rub for her, eh? And I said, Velma, what's your favorite food? And she didn't even hesitate. She said, ice cream. <laughs> So I'm going to make her some homemade cannabis ice cream, and I'll let you know how she enjoys it. She's probably just going to gobble it up and really enjoy the experience from having decarboxylated cannabis in your homemade ice cream. So I'm really looking forward to that, and I'll keep that. So this is part number one. We'll let you know how part number two comes on. Uh, we'll let you know how part number two, um, the journey of part number two, let's put it that way. <laughs> so this is Rick Holland for slightly eccentric and the diplomats of dope go and make some homemade ice cream and then put some decarboxylated cannabis in it and try it and see how you feel it might become one of your most favorite desserts and you can put the ice cream in little ice cube trays and then just have one or two ice cube trays a night or one or two ice cube trays no one or two ice cubes at night for a little treat if you want a little bit of a frozen cannabis dessert that's a perfect frozen treat with cannabis inside the ice cream why not Let's try it. If we can think of sneaky and creative and healthy ways to get you to consume cannabis, are we winning or are we losing? We're winning. Okay, Rick Holland for Slightly Eccentric and the Diplomats of Dope. You tell me if you want to see us do unique ways of consuming cannabis. Um, so give us a call. At, uh, give us a call. Give us an email at Diplomats of Dope at gmail.com and don't forget to see our videos at Slightly Eccentric and the Diplomats of Dope. Have a good day folks. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care.